to another video. I have my Disneyland Paris haul for you guys today. I didn't buy as much as I did on my last trip but I have still bought a couple of things which I thought was probably worth showing you. Um, so we'll start with the, the biggest thing. The biggest thing that I bought on this trip was my annual pass. It's so shiny. I went for the Magic Plus one. It worked out in euros. It was 369 euros. When um, I converted it back into pounds, it was about 320 pounds. I bought a lanyard for it as well. So Disneyland Paris have their new black and gold range out for the 30th anniversary and they have these lanyards. So on one side it's just got a some stars um, and then Tinkerbell and the castle is on at the bottom. Really nice pattern on the other side. So I thought yeah I'm gonna buy this lanyard to put my new annual pass on. Um, it does not come with the plastic pouch on the end, you have to buy that separately. Um, they did not have any of the 30th anniversary ones left. I was quite upset about because I wanted the 30th anniversary one. But they did have Alice in Wonderland which was um, right up my street. I love Alice. So I bought that pouch and then it comes with a couple of charms on it. One says eat me and the other says drink me. Um, the lanyard itself came with a couple of charms on the end as well. One was a castle, another was a star and then one was like a little jewel. But you can actually remove them and I took them off purely because they were just like hitting off each other a lot and it was making a lot of noise. Um, so I, I took them off and then I kept the Alice in Wonderland ones on with the, with the plastic pouch. And then obviously once I bought the lanyard I thought hmm I need to buy a couple of pins to go on the lanyard. Now I've never been a pin collector um, but I like to have a couple of pins on there. So the first one I bought was this Disneyland Paris, it's the Disneyland Park pin. And I thought that one was really nice. It's just one of the castle and it's the Disneyland Park at the bottom. The second one I bought was when we went to Walt's restaurant for lunch. Um, which you probably won't have seen the vlogs just yet because they're not all up but we went to Waltz um, on our very first day for lunch. It's a three course menu. It is to die for. The food is amazing. The interior is stunning. If you get a chance to go and eat at Waltz please do it. You will not be disappointed. Um, but they have a, a pin that you can buy. It's only one per person and you can only buy it if you have dined at the Waltz restaurant. Um, it is also not a trading pin, they say it's not a trading pin so you can't trade this one. So I thought it was quite a special one to get and um, it's not going to be around forever. It's so pretty. I had to pick that one up, definitely. And then I got one more at the very end of my trip which I seen. Um, we were in the storybook store just at Liberty Square. Hi. Are you coming to join in? I went in to have a look in the storybook store. They had a lot of new annual pass pins um, and this was one of them. And it moves, which I thought was really cool. And then it's just got 30 in the middle. And it's so nice and colourful. Now they had this one, they had a Chippendale one and then they had a Mickey Mouse one. And I went for that one and I've just put it at the very bottom of the lanyard. So yeah, I mean my biggest purchase, as I said, has to be the actual annual pass itself because it's quite expensive. And then the pins, I can't remember how much the pins were. They were probably between 8 euros and 13 euros. Um, that annual pass one being the more expensive one. And I think that one was only 8 or 9 euros, but I'm sure that one was about 13. And then the, the Waltz one was a little bit more expensive, that was 16 euros. Next up, I bought a little ring for myself. Now I got this ring in the studios store, um, just outside the, the entrance before you walk in the main section. It's so, so sweet. It's just got two little Mickey heads. 
and it's so shiny when it catches the light it just just yeah it's just it's so shiny and shimmery so i got that one to to wear on my thumb and that was on the very first day and i wore it the whole trip it was it was so nice so nice the ring was 27 euros if you have watched my previous Disneyland Paris hauls and vlogs, you'll know that I have my Pandora bracelet, which has got the Minnie and the Mickey head here, and then um, you can put charms on it either side. On every trip, I try to pick up at least one charm to put on it. So on this trip, I picked up the Phantom Manor charm. It's such a nice colour. I just thought the colour was absolutely beautiful. So that's one side and then on the other side it just has a um, phantom manor written on it so that has joined the collection next thing i picked up was a jumper now on my last trip when i went to disneyland paris with isla um i had seen this jumper in the tower of terror shop and they didn't have my size they only had um, bigger sizes left and i do like an oversized jumper but it was just maybe a little bit too big so i was like no there's no point no point buying it when I went this time and I was walking to the shop, I seen it and I was like, oh my god, they have my size. So I picked this up in a medium and I'm so glad I did because they're actually quite small made. Um, and it's this jumper. I thought it was brilliant. It's got Donald, Mickey, Goofy. And then at the bottom it's like they're dropping on the tower of terror so i love this ride i think i went on this ride four times this trip love it um so yeah i picked up this up in a medium and it was 46 euros my final purchase from the disney parks was a lounge fly now i went not planning on buying a lounge fly i knew that i wasn't going to see any of the 30th anniversary bags and that was absolutely fine but they had actually brought out quite a few lounge flies this trip so the one i've got that i'll show you in a minute they also had a maleficent one out and then in the star wars store down in that section they also had a star wars lounge fly out too but when i've seen this i've already seen this before and i really wanted it and i obviously didn't buy it because it was on i think when i seen it it was on double box toys for like 80 or 90 quid and i just didn't want to pay that or maybe it was even more and i was like no i can't justify spending that and then i'm so glad i waited because this is it it was in disney village in some of the shops in disney village it was in the studio store just at the entrance and it was also in a couple of the shops on Main Street. So they were everywhere. And um, so they had this one, the Maleficent one, and then I also seen a Star Wars one. So they were really kind of pulling out the bag with the lounge fly this, this trip, although they didn't have the 30th one. And I'm not sure when they'll be getting that back in. Um, but as I say, I had my eye on this and I was willing on paying over the odds for it to be shipped from America through Double Box Toys and pay like 90 100 quid and i'm so glad i didn't because i managed to pick it up here now this was it was 80 euros but then i got my annual pass discount and then transferred that back into pounds i think it worked out at like 60 pounds or something so i am over the moon absolutely chuffed so this bag will certainly be coming on future trips with me and I'm going to Walt Disney World in November um, so it'll definitely be coming to Animal Kingdom with me so I'll have to plan some nice little outfits around this bag but I, I just thought it was so pretty and they had loads in stock so if you're planning on going anytime soon I really hope that you manage to get this if this is on your list because it's beautiful. I do just have one more thing which actually I bought not at the Disney parks but I bought it at duty free just because I love a duty free purchase so as you can probably tell it's a pair of sunglasses and if you've watched my travel vlog already you would have already seen them but I bought a pair of Gucci sunglasses I think I paid about £180 for these in duty free 
they are so pretty so they're more like a cat eye i just don't have any sunglasses this shape i did see another pair that i really liked but it's a very similar shape to a pair of sunglasses that i already have so i'm like why am i paying all this money to buy a you know a pair that i've already like are already very similar so i bought these ones and i'm absolutely over the moon i just can't help myself with a duty-free purchase um yeah they're great i love them and that is everything from the haul as i say it's certainly not as much as i bought the last time but i still spent a fair bit of money my vlogs will be out very soon my travel day is already live so if you haven't already seen it i will link it down below and here so please watch that and don't forget to subscribe to catch all the other vlogs that will be coming out very very soon we have day one day two and day three still to come out and yeah it's very exciting jam-packed full days and don't forget i am also going to walt disney world in november and i have also just booked my next disneyland paris trip in september and i'm going back with isla who is also an annual pass holder and my fellow disney bestie we like to go on our trips together so we're going to go back in september so yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment and i will see you all soon for another vlog Thanks, bye!